warrior named Ferian is seeking vengeance for losses suffered at the hands of an evil Imbra. But his friend Leon comes from a much wealthier family, can afford nicer weapons, and can hire out a large army to support his mission. Ferian might be tempted to tell Leon, dude, check your privilege. But Leon didn't choose to be born into wealth. Why then should he apologize for it? According to existentialist Jean-Paul Sartre, we're thrown into the world as part of a particular culture, religion, language, and socio-economic status without any say in the matter. These are the features of what Sartre calls our facticity, the individual parts of ourselves that we're born with. And although we have no control over our facticity, we are always free to choose our relation to the world that we live in. This freedom is just part of the human condition. We define our existence by determining our purpose in life. We make our life our own particular project. Things have value only in the frame of the project that we freely create. In his colossal work, Being and Nothingness, Sartre uses several examples to illustrate humanity's radical freedom. To Sartre, even a prisoner is radically free. He can choose to attempt an escape. He can choose to restructure his purpose in life given his incarceration. Or he can choose to end his life. The fact that he's locked up isn't what restricts his freedom. Rather, it's his choice to believe, given his situation, that he is unfree. Because the prisoner's own created goal in life resides outside the prison, it's not the physical bars that cause him anguish. It's in his unwillingness to conform his goal in life to his current situation. You see, freedom is only ever experienced by each particular person in the context of their own project, their own ends, and their own understanding of the world. Firion could compare his ragged armor and motley crew to Leon's disciplined battalion and shining plate mail, but it has nothing to do with Firion's goal for himself. Each person is their own free project, with their own situation, their own personal quest. Because Leon has more at his disposal than Firion doesn't mean that Leon is freer. Both are free to construct their own ends. As such, there is no superior life situation, because there is no metric to decide who has the best way to make meaning in their lives. There isn't a way to determine who has the best life plan. For Sartre, it means that facticity, or a person's material situation, doesn't constitute privilege. We are all radically free to create meaning, and that is what matters. But then again, should we really look to a rich white man to be an authority on privilege? Thank you.